Hello everyone, I'm here in Arduglock uh, to get us started with our ultrasonic sensor. Uh, so if we go over to the pins tab, I see this block here that says ultrasonic on it. Uh, this is the block we're going to be using to manipulate our ultrasonic sensor. Uh, first off, you'll notice it doesn't fit into the loop do. The ultrasonic sensor actually just returns us a number, so this whole block represents one number, and that number is whatever distance it's reading. Uh, unfortunately though, because of that, we can't just slap it into the loop do. We need to somehow put it in a block that needs a number, and then hopefully we can do something useful with that number, or we can get it to display to us in some way, shape, or form what that number is. I'd also like to remind you that our pins are not one and two. They're in fact three and four. So the first exercise we're gonna do with this ultrasonic block and with the ultrasonic sensor is uh, pretty similar to what we did with our button. We're gonna just go ahead and see if we can print it onto our serial monitor. So we're gonna grab the print, uh, the serial print LN block. I'm gonna go ahead and change this message to say, distance equals, of course it can say whatever you'd like it to. Unfortunately, still having this problem where I can't slap it into place uh, on that message block. So let's go back into communications. We're gonna grab one of the glue blocks that allows us to print a constant or variable for us. In our case, because it's a number and because we have this little pointed end here, we're gonna need this glue with the pointed uh, ends over here. And then let's go ahead and just slap the ultrasonic block into place for us. So I'm gonna check before I upload, I'm gonna go ahead and check and make sure I have Arduino Nano, good. And I have a port selected, good. I'm gonna go ahead and upload that. All right, so nothing exciting going on at the moment, but let's go ahead and open up our serial monitor. And we have distance equals and then a number and it's being read pretty constantly. It's uh, going by really, really fast. Let's see what happens if I put my hand up in front of it. All right, cool. So my hand going back and forth, covering it, not covering it. If I put my hand back a little bit, the numbers start to get bigger. So it looks like this is working. Looks like our distance is being read appropriately. Uh, something I would like to do, however, is probably slow this down a bit. Can we get this to read to us maybe every every quarter of a second? That'd be nice. Let's go ahead and upload that again. Are we good? Come on. All right, done uploading. Let's go back to the serial monitor. Oh, that's much better. So I got my hand moving. Now something interesting. So right now my hand is not in front of it and I have it pointed towards a specific corner of the room. And so the distance is not actually changing. However, we're seeing these big jumps in distance. It's reading, let's see, in the 200s and then all of a sudden it's below 100 even though the robot's not moving whatsoever. Um, so there is a bit of an issue with our ultrasonic sensors. At a certain range, they start to become inaccurate. Sometimes they'll even read zero at very large distances. Uh, so what I like to do um, is have the students grab the computers if you're using laptops, as well as grab the robot, kind of walk it up to the nearest wall, which I'm doing right now. So I am three to four centimeters away from this wall. I'm just gonna back up slowly with the robot pointed straight at it. And I'm gonna see what distance I get before things start getting a little weird. So this one's a little strange. I'm getting a high of 108 and a low of 94 it looks like, but that's, that's okay, that's fairly close to each other. What happens if I keep going back? So I'm getting between 130 and 90 and 88 now. So I, I don't like that too much. So it looks like 
my effective range is about a hundred centimeters or one meter. And these things are also uh, affected by, you know, sound quality in the room. If there's a lot of other objects that the sound waves can be bouncing off against, uh, when you have a lot of these robots going all at once, they can affect each other somewhat. So keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, aside from that, why don't we get started with the next activity?